Welcome to Unraveling the Mystery, The Boston Strangler. Join us as we delve into the chilling case of one of America's most notorious serial killers. Prepare to journey through the streets of Boston and uncover the secrets of the Strangler's reign of terror. In the early 1960s, the city of Boston was gripped by fear as a series of brutal murders rocked the community. The perpetrator, known as the Boston Strangler, struck fear into the hearts of residents as he targeted women in their own homes. The Boston Strangler's victims were women of varying ages and backgrounds, united by the horrific circumstances of their deaths. Their tragic stories serve as a reminder of the human toll of the Strangler's rampage. The Boston Strangler's modus operandi was consistent across his crimes. He gained entry into the homes of his victims by posing as a maintenance worker or utility serviceman, then proceeded to strangle them with articles of clothing. Law enforcement agencies launched a massive investigation into the Boston Strangler case, but the killer remained elusive. Despite numerous leads and suspects, the true identity of the Strangler remained a mystery. The Boston Strangler's reign of terror sent shockwaves through the community, with women taking precautions to protect themselves from becoming his next victims. Fear gripped the city as residents lived in constant fear of the Strangler's next move. The Boston Strangler case garnered widespread media attention, with newspapers and television stations providing round-the-clock coverage of the investigation. The relentless media scrutiny only served to intensify public fear and fascination with the case. After years of investigation, a breakthrough finally came in 1964, when Albert DeSalvo confessed to being the Boston Strangler. His admission brought a sense of relief to the community, but questions remained about his true culpability. Albert DeSalvo's confession sent shockwaves through Boston as the mild-mannered family man revealed chilling details of his crimes. However, doubts persisted about the veracity of his confession, leading to continued debate and speculation. Despite his confession, Albert DeSalvo was never convicted of the Boston Strangler murders. Instead, he was sentenced to life in prison for unrelated crimes leaving the question of the Strangler's true identity unanswered. The true identity of the Boston Strangler remains one of the most enduring mysteries in American criminal history. Despite Albert DeSalvo's confession, many questions remain unanswered, and the case continues to fascinate and confound investigators. The Boston Strangler case had a profound impact on society, sparking conversations about mental illness, crime prevention, and the role of law enforcement in protecting the public. The scars left by the Strangler's crimes are still felt in Boston and beyond. The legacy of fear left by the Boston Strangler lingers to this day, with residents of Boston and beyond remembering the victims and the trauma inflicted by the Strangler's reign of terror. The Boston Strangler case serves as a reminder of the importance of vigilant law enforcement, community awareness, and support for victims of violent crime. It also highlights the need for ongoing efforts to prevent and address violence against women. Before we conclude, we want to express our sincere gratitude to our viewers for joining us on this journey through the dark and haunting tale of the Boston Strangler. Your support means everything to us, and we look forward to bringing you more gripping stories in the future.